friends now it's time for your commerce class and you know that we are on the management section and today our topic chapter is also the management function second last function of management that is controlling okay your chapter number 12 controlling if you want to control everything you can control nothing it simply means that for a single manager it is quite difficult to manage each and everything so for for that particular purpose manager provides strategies how to manage each and every activity in different departments now what are the learning ob objectives see students concept of controlling objectives of controlling purpose of controlling nature of controlling importance of controlling steps in the process of controlling now with the help of one example controlling at baroda rayon corporation limited the manufacturing plant of baroda rayon corporation limited is located at surat and its head office is in mumbai it manufactures rayon yarn and nylon cord for controlling Baroda Rayon has adopted budgetary control system so here the company use budgetary control system firstly maintain firstly set the budget okay the focus of its control system is to control cost operation so main focus is how to control the cost cost of operation cost incurred on manufacturing there is a separate budget control and cost account department which coordinates the activities of budgetary control now see the example at the time of setting the standards a manager should try to set standards in a precise quantitative terms as this would make their comparison with actual performance much easier yes so in precise form standard it is required to be set by the manager for example in this case see reduction of detects from 10 in every 1000 pieces produced to 5 in every 1000 pieces produced by the end of the quarter so here firstly detect the manager detect the errors that is 10 units okay in the lot of 1000 pieces so the next target is to reduce that defect of 10 units to 5 units and same lot of 1000 pieces that is your quantitative standard now the next one is however whenever qualitative standards are set an efforts must be made to define them in a manner that should make their measurement easier for this see for improving customer satisfaction in the fast food chain having a self service standards can be set in terms of time taken by a customer to wait for a table time taken by him to place the order and time taken to collect the order it is important that the standard should be flexible enough to be modified whenever required so here these all are about the qualitative aspects how to set the standards and you know that here the point is flexible means your standard not rigid in nature okay flexible why is flexible required due to the changes taken place in the internal and external business environment standards may need some modification to be realistic in the changed business environment so it is required your standard should be flexible the reason only is just because of the effect of internal and external environment of business now key terms number 1 key term controlling example baroda rayon corporation sets the standard of 800 units to produce jelly so here this standard set quantitative standard 800 units okay actual production of corporation per day 850 units so here the actual production 850 units means when you you are going to compare So see, standard set 800, 850 actual means 50 units overproduced, which is quite better than as compared to set standard. It simply means favorable result. Now, controlling process of ensuring that the actual results are as per planned result. Now, the next one is standard. Example: A broader yarn corporation limited may decided to achieve a sale target of rupees. 50 lakh per month so here quantitative standard set 
by the company to achieve sales target of 50 lakh such a standard facilitates control by specifying the quantitative targets it refers to the criteria against which the actual performance would be measured so here your standard set by the company 50 lakh in future now you are going to compare your actual sale with the standard set of 50 lakh next one is coordination an example of coordination is when a gymnast walk on a tight rope without falling. So it means that coordination required here also. An example of coordination is when two people work together to plan or coordinate a party. It simply means that synchronization of group efforts. Reinforce. In a classroom setting, for example, types of reinforcement might include praise, getting out of unwanted work, token rewards, candy, extra play time and fun activities. It means to strengthen our sport, especially with additional assistance. Likewise, in case of company, provide rewards, provide movie tickets for refreshment part also to the employees. Strategy. Now, Broda Rion Corporation Limited objective is to increase the client satisfaction from the 82% to 90% by December 31st. So, here standard set, here the strategy of companies, customer satisfaction, client satisfaction here 82% to 90%. So, how we accomplish that is the business of strategies and texts. It means something which is essential, vital, crucial, critical and important. Variance. Example, if the standard, standard quantity of Baroda Rion Corporation Limited was 10,000 pieces of material and 15,000 pieces were required in the production. Okay, now see student example here. 10,000 pieces of material. Okay, standard set here. 15,000 pieces were required in production means more required as compared to standard set 5,000 more. This would be an unfavorable quantitative variance because more material were used than anticipated. So unfavorable here. It means deviation, difference, dissimilarity, variance may be adverse, negative or unfavorable or favorable like here. Deviance, deviation means in this case, in example, negative, unfavorable, sometimes favorable also. Like suppose here standard set 10,000, but your actual material use 8,000. It means 2,000 you saved. So here favorable. Now the next one is what is controlling? Once the plans are put into operation through the direct, it becomes directing, it becomes necessary to judge the regular the actual result of the consistent with the planned results. So in this case students now we are going to talk about the what is controlling. Okay. So in this controlling mean. So firstly student set the plan target then accordingly check your performance compare your performance with the plans. Okay. This process of evaluating the actual performance in comparison with the plan targets and taking suitable corrective actions whenever necessary is known as controlling. So here the point is comparison required between actual and plan targets and if necessary take corrective actions. Concept of controlling. Where we are. Okay. So here the point is measurement and then where we plan to be evaluation then how can we get on track again that is your correction okay. Now what are the objectives of controlling to ensure that the work is carried out as per the plan. Yes controlling is required to check the work is as according to your plan or not. To check and ensure that the performance of work is in accordance with the plans and programs of the organizations. It simply means in the organization controlling required to check the work done by the different departments. Uh, the, firstly to check they are working according to your plan, set goal, targets or not. 
why controlling is required so here point why controlling is required the answer it enables the manager to detect the errors and detect defects in the course of work and to take corrective whenever necessary so here the point is students manager main role why controlling required manager firstly detect the errors and defects then take corrective action so firstly detect the errors then provides the different methods how to remove the defect it provides proper direction to the work in conformity with the plan of action or predetermined standard now nature of controlling management function yes it is totally a management function because this one is the second last function of management and very important function so the students next point pervasive function why it is pervasive function because it is required at all level of management top middle and lower continuous process yes it is a continuous process it is not a one time but a continuous because it is needed at all levels all time forward looking why it is forward looking the only answer is it is related to future because it is not possible to control the past action oriented it is action oriented yes controlling measure the deviation of actual performance from the standard performance discover the causes of such deviation and have seen taking corrective actions that's why it is your action oriented now the last goal oriented why it is goal oriented the reason only is the controlling function aim at achieving the organization goals okay by utilizing the resources in the best manner so these all are all are the nature of controlling points now importance of controlling number 1 ensure order and discipline facilitate coordination in action helps in improving the performance helps in minimizing the errors helps in achieving the organization goal judging of accuracy of standards making efficient use of resources improving the employee motivation okay these all are the points of importance now the steps in process of controlling number one step establishment of standard desired results so in this standard used in different functional areas by the broader rayon corporation limited here is production marketing finance and hrm so here are four departments of the company available and in case of production which points to be considered in case of setting standard so how to set the standard firstly production department check out the quantity quality cost individual workers performance in case of marketing department sales volume sales expense advertising cost individual sales person performance and in case of finance and accounting cost of capital flow of funds profit margin inventory level and in case of hrm human resource management labor absenteeism labor turnover labor relations so as according to the department factors they decide set the standards the first step of controlling process is to establish the standards with which the actual results are to be evaluated so different standards are used for measuring the performance of the different individuals so here different standards are used why so see physical standards are those expressed in physical terms like example here number of units like here 50 units your standard okay in numeric form in case of man hours like eight hours okay you provided this set standard okay to employees or workers next one is monetary standards are expressed in monetary terms like sales 50000 revenue 4 lakh rupees expenses rupees 30000 so here standard set in monetary term and in addition to these tangible standards there are intangible standards like reputation of the firm customer service example how fast and accurately customers are served so these all are your intangible means qualitative standard the standard for control 
should satisfy the following requirements what are the requirements while firstly you, as as a manager firstly you consider all these points then you set the standard number 1 standard should be simple and easy to understand standard should be capable of achievement with reasonable amount of effort and time standard should be flexible not rigid very important okay standard should as far as possible be set in consultation with the people who are to achieve them okay these all are the main point a manager considered okay now the second point measurement of actual performance how you are going to measure the performance setting the standards okay so here firstly you set the standard then measuring performance then finding cause of deviation and next step taking corrective action this one is the full procedure for controlling and how you are going to control or to compare the actual performance with the standard set example measuring the performance of personal department is not easy yes human beings available in your employees it is quite difficult for you to judge to predict the behavior okay of your employees right students so for this the measurement of performance is relatively more effective at the higher levels of management this is because the result of management activities at higher levels cannot be directly measured for this effort should be made to measure performance directly or indirectly so management makes strategies to judge the performance of the employees directly or indirectly in both cases so students here performance may be measured through personal observation or through oral or written report so with the help of oral or written reports your management judge the employees next one comparison of actual and standard performance so here from the point it is clear to totally clear comparison comparison means you are going to compare your actual performance with your set standard okay comparison of actual performance with the plan desired target is very important deviation can be defined as the gap between the actual performance and the plan target so here the deviation only only case that when you are going to compare and any gap between your actual and your plan performance if performance matches with the standard or exceed it may be assumed that all is under control so in other hand if performance does not match with the standard then the manager has to find out two things so here two situation provided to you when your standard set matched with the, your actual performance or exceed even then in this case result all is under control when the case not totally matched with your actual performance and standard set then two things number 1 the extent of deviation and the causes of adverse deviation the adverse deviation may arise due to lack of so why why what are the reason behind this why deviation this deviation problem arise in the management in the performance the only reason due to the lack of training okay the first reason lack of training next obsolete equipment improper working conditions inadequate delegation of authority and machine breakdown these all are the main reason of your deviation when you are actual performance not matched with your standard set now the fourth point fourth step in controlling analysis of deviation how to analysis there is an old saying that if a manager tries to control everything then he she ends up controlling nothing yes it is totally right so in anal analyzing the deviation the manager has to find out whether the deviation is within acceptable range he she has to exercise there so firstly the manager check out the deviation except it's in acceptable range or not and then two main points here control by exception or critical point control and divided the deviation your 
uh, your fault in two categories in critical point control example c 5% decrease in monthly production is more harmful than a 2% increase in postal charges so according to this example your production your main aspect here okay your production concept more important as compared to your postal charges firstly check out the importance of both so in this if your production it decreased by 5% more serious issue okay as compared to your increase in 2% postal charges likewise the focus is on the key result areas kra as which are significant for the success of organization if anything goes wrong in these areas the entire organization suffer yes so in these key result areas if anything goes wrong then full organization suffer it is totally correct right because these are the main areas from where, these are all the same area from which all are affected so student it's all about the critical point control and in this your critical point control is production okay now the next one is control by exception so what is control by exception example if a stationary charge is increased by 5 to 10% it can be called as a minor deviation your stationary charge increase from 5 to 10% it is totally a minor deviation on the other hand if monthly production declines consistently it is called as a major deviation so here also production your major aspect here okay if your monthly production declines then major issue in control by exception focus is on the exceptional deviation minor deviation have to be ignored major deviation should be looked upon consciously so here the main focus is on why production declined not on the stationary charges totally here stationary charges ignored next point here is taking corrective action so at the end after comparison the next point is how to correct the faults deviations once the causes and extent of adverse deviation are known the manager has to detect those errors and take the remedial measures to prevent adverse deviations in the future this is called the feedback so at the last it is totally type of feedback and if in case of negative result negative deviation then manager take decision how to rectify the error now causes of deviation and corrective action to be taken firstly number 1 cause of a deviation defective material so if defective material what is the corrective action here change the quality specification for the material used second deviation defective machine machinery so here repair the existing machine or replace the machine if it cannot be repaired so these two points here see causes and along with this the corrective actions also provide. third one is students obsolete so obsolete machinery undertake the technological upgradation of machinery fourth one defective process modify the existing process and fifth one defective physical condition of work improve the physical condition of work so the next the now it's time for your homework question after this so today i will discuss today i was discuss with you number of point meaning of controlling nature importance and steps also now note down the questions number one question explain the term controlling controlling implies taking action explain what is critical point control state two characteristics of controlling how does the control simplify the task of a supervisor mention two advantages of critical point control and control by exception explain the various steps involved in the process of controlling and maintain your plan your questions with the help of books and also with the help of internet and must watch these youtube links also for more better understanding of the topic students thank you so much